Hello out there and welcome to English she Plays. We're here with Fallen Knight, which is a new game. It's on Steam and full disclosure, I did receive my copy for free. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna play it. And I'm just taking a stab in the dark based on uh, what I saw on the Steam page that it's a controller game and we're gonna play it with the controller. Okay. Casual, no, let's go normal. Yes. Yes. All right, so we're playing. Oh. May the honor and glory of the knights be with you. Sure. Uh, all right. So we can double jump. Cool. Oh, we can wall, we can wall jump. Cool. Got it. Oh, we can we can just run on the wall. That's cool. In e what if you can by jumping towards the wall and holding the run button in the Okay, so we did that. There we go, we did it. Sure. Yeah, we did that. Okay, press uh, right, they just want me to press jump. Sure. Uh, okay, press jump and the opposite direction of the wall. All right. Yep, got it. <coughs> Ow. Got it. I'm healing. Sure. Okay. Nope. Just there. Perfect. Nice. The parried and disarmed. Got it. All right, I'm on to it. One more go. I am the champion. Wait, what? V and B. I don't know. There is no V and B. I don't. What the hell is V and B? It... Okay. I don't, what I don't know what those buttons are. Sure. I I don't know what buttons those were cuz V and B are not controls. Huh. Um the Holy Grail was finally found. They discovered that it was an eternal source of pure and unlimited energy. Dun 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 dun! The energy was provided through the world. There were no more wars. Resources were no longer scarce and world hunger came to an end. Humanity's long dream finally looks achievable. Certainly there can finally be world peace. <coughs> Excuse me. On a morning that seemed like any other day in Neo Utopia. New Utopia? Sure. I'm ready. Is that a nuke or something? The Archbishop's airship was hijacked. The Purge, a terrorist group that claims that the Holy Grail energy is the greatest sin of humanity, was believed to be behind this crime. Sure. That's fine. And then we turn up. So we can play as, one of the options at the start was to play as Galahad. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Sure. Here's the situation. The Purge has hijacked the ship. We need to regain control ASAP. The ship has two docks. How should we, 
Engage if you must. Understood, get a Galahad out. Sh <coughs> sure thing. Yep. Nice. Oh, he hit me. I like that we can double jump. I don't like that. <laughs> Just park up on top of him, it's fine. Oop. Don't like getting hit by those guys. It's really annoying. Ugh. Oh, what? That's not fair, but fine, whatever. Okay, great. So I'm, I'm about to die. That's my own fault, I guess. Oh, how do I heal? What was heal? It's like that. So that's all the healing I get to do, I guess. Love it. So there's no point there where I could have... Uh, So I, I don't know what happened there, but I guess I won. And I guess that, that so I died. Uh, restart, I guess. So we start back over from the start. Sure. Oh, if we fall down, we die. Okay. That was not made explicit, but that's fine. <coughs> uh, I mean, there doesn't seem to be any advantage in fighting them. I'm not getting XP or anything, so... Sure. Yeah. So actually... Love this. Love it. Okay. Yep, and we're going. Is this, is this where we're supposed to go? Did I make it? I made it. Great. So there's a boss. Time to fight the boss, I guess. I managed to dodge the shield. Interesting. So it's you. The Wrath of God. How lucky I am. I'll get to be the one to destroy the war hero. He does look cool. He does look cool. I'll give him that. But I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here, so. Right, so there's just a bunch of explosions everywhere. Ugh. Oh, he's charging up. Nope, didn't like that. Nope. Oh, he got me. I died. 
Where do I have to restart from, I guess, is the is the question. Oh, I get to come back straight to here. Cool, but I have to rewatch the whole cutscene. Oh, I can skip it. Cool, so we know his we know his attack moves better. Oh my god. And by Noah's attack moves better, I mean I'm still gonna get absolutely ruined by them. Wow. Sure, you want... So I don't know what's happening now. So he drop some time bombs. No. Ow. Okay, that hurt. Yep. I don't see. I don't know if I'm actually doing this right. Nope. He's got a shield up. So he is, he is taking damage here. Oop. Right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast forward till I beat this guy, I guess. Okay, so we're in the hub world, I guess, um, and I, I increased the power cores by one, and we come over to the power cores, and I have no power cores, even though it, I said I increased the power cores by one, so I don't know, I don't know what I increased, but it wasn't power cores. I guess we'll play the next level, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Sure. Um. Uh. Alright. Welcome to the Royal Knights Training Ground. Was your security system supposed to keep me out? Oh, I thought it was a toy. So pathetic. Right. I'd love to see those numbers. How about it? If you pass all my tests, I'll let you go. Sure. <coughs> so we've got... I guess we're going to the invincible test. I don't I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. Just not taking damage, I guess. Oops. Okay, I don't I don't I don't know. Let's go try a different test. Let's try the power test. Why can't I climb? So I don't, oh my God.
I don't, I don't know what the tests are. They all just seem like fighting people. Power, I don't know what the power test was. Let's go to the observation test. Um, I, I, okay, I have no idea what I was supposed to do there. No idea at all. I don't seem to be able to double jump anymore. Um, so in the last level I could double jump, and now I can't, so. And I don't seem to be able to dash in the air either. So I don't, I really don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Um, yes, let's, let's exit. That was, that was not fun. I did not enjoy that. So, let's play this one, I guess. Huh. Are we, can we, are we back to being able to do stuff, or no? Nope, we're back to not being able to, uh, dash in the air or double jump. And I don't, I don't know why. I really don't understand what's going on. Is the game supposed to... Is the game supposed to be, have gotten harder? Is that... I feel like taking away my mobility... Is just make, making what was already a pretty frustrating game... Like, even more frustrating? I can't clear that. Okay, I can. Just barely. So I can't dash in the air. I can't. Okay, well. I am very frustrated. I am very frustrated. Um, I was already frustrated with the game. I was already frustrated with the game before. Um, and then apparently... This guy wounded me and took away, uh, took away all my abilities. Yeah. So, I lost all my abilities, and when I bought another power core, it did nothing. So, I, I just, I don't know what I was supposed to do. Was I supposed to buy one of these things? I don't, I don't know. I literally don't know. Power cord upgrade. I don't... I don't know. So... The game did not explain anything very well. Yeah. Um... I... Sometimes there are games where they, um... They start you off really powerful and then take all that away and then you build back up to it. But this one, I just feel like... I... I was already frustrated with the game. With the powers that were available. To then immediately take all of those powers away, I'm now like, I'm done playing. That's where I'm at. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's, let's, let's exit out. Yeah. Yeah. Time to, time to go look at the description because I'm, I'm honestly pretty frustrated. All right. Fallen Knight. Take the role of an elite knight and battle your way through action-packed levels with intense sword fighting gameplay in this neo-classic side-scrolling action platformer. Save the city from a deadly terrorist organization hell-bent on exposing the truth you are sworn to protect. Developed by Fair Play Studios um, and published by P-Cube Limited. It currently costs $16.64. Um, yeah. It's... It's got a lot of stuff going for it. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's got good... Good visuals. Um, I kind of like the boss's attacks and stuff. That was pretty fun. Uh, when I had an upgraded dude, the game was kind of fun, if frustrating. As soon, like, once he was no longer upgraded, um, the game just became frustrating. So, like, I had gotten used, you know, because I had died on that tutorial boss a bunch of times. I guess I shouldn't have, but I did. Um, and then, so I had gotten used to being able to dash in the air and double jump and all kinds of stuff like that. And then to suddenly not be able to do that and have no explanation other than you got wounded and the game not telling you uh hey you no longer have all these abilities just seems weird i don't um the hub world didn't make any sense either 
It was like pick a level and launch it, and it was. I I don't understand why. Like, the hub the hub world doesn't make sense. Like, if you're gonna have us fight, go through stages. Have us just go through stages. Don't let us select. Have us go through, you know, steadily increasing in difficulty stages that we can fight because you've taken away all of our abilities and then just we just choose whatever stage we want so it's like that that one stage that i picked off to the right where it was it had the four different tests um one of the tests i could i couldn't even get to because i didn't have double jump um and there was no way for me to complete it without exiting because i hadn't accessed the the right upgrades um but I didn't know that because I didn't know I didn't have those upgrades. So I literally was wasting my time there because there would have been no way for me to complete all the tests. So I'm pretty frustrated. I'm pretty frustrated. I got, I'm got. i going to say that. Um, I was sort of having a good time. Sort of. I don't like banging my head against the wall, but I did. And I beat the boss eventually. Um, and I, I don't like doing that, but it did feel good to beat the boss, I guess. Um, but then to immediately have all of my abilities that I've just gotten good at using completely subtracted from my character um, and have no explanation about the upgrades and no reason for the hub world, I'm just very frustrated. So at best, at best, I would give this a thumb sideways at this point because I'm pretty annoyed at it. Um, and that happens sometimes. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry if my um, chat right now is coming off as very aggressive or annoyed because... I am annoyed. I am. Ugh. Don't do that. Anyways, a futuristic knight's tale. Fallen knight is a futuristic knight's tale that lets players take on the role of knight of the round table. Play as Lancelot or Galahad the 50th descendants of the legendary knights. And face off against unique enemies, enemy heroes, uh, each with a dark past of their own. Expect a Dark Souls-esque challenging experience coupled with a fast-paced sword action gameplay that will punish players... For every little mistake and reward generously with every victory. Yeah, I mean it does punish you very hard for your mistakes, which is what I, which is why I was talking about that banging your head against the wall. But uh, yeah, I also a lot of the level just felt like you could just skip it. But I mean that was before you know. I guess I would have tried to get more honor points. Not that anybody uh, said anything about those or explained those or anything at all not even a little bit um if i you know before i got completely destroyed as far as my abilities if, before i was completely stripped of all sorts of uh, abilities i would have tried to kill everything in that level to get honor points so that i could spend stuff to maybe keep some of my powers because double jump seems pretty important and dash seems pretty important. Like, being able to dash in the air seems pretty important. Um, yeah. Man, I am really frustrated. Um, you've got two different paths. You can play as Galahad. You can play as uh, Lancelot, which is cool. Let's have a look at the reviews. So, Fallen Knight has some great graphics, fun boss fights, and a handful of fun, fresh ideas like the honor point shot, but a loose, inconsistent controls undercut what is much, uh, much of what is an otherwise solid experience. Sure. Um, they just put a full review can be seen here. Great. That's super useful. Looking forward to 100% the game, but character control and movements feel so weird as for now. Um, can't adjust sound level. Uh, yeah. It is so difficult, but it's so much fun too. The game clearly had a lot of work put into it, which makes it even more of a shame that I can't recommend it. You can catch up on why in under five minutes with my quick review video. Nice to see it is a little cheaper than what I saw initially, but I still think it's best to wait for sale. Let's see, cool enemy designs and fitting music that sounds great, interesting and varied level design, inconsistent controls that make some situations a nightmare. Yep, I ran into that. Game is hard, but not fair. Way too often I felt like I died to something beyond my control. Yep, odd design, choice in regard to, design choices regarding the currency used to unlock upgrades. Yeah, see, I'm very frustrated. I am very frustrated. So, um, yeah, it's like, there's obviously a lot of work in this. A lot of work. Um, but, it's just not, it's just not ready. You know, it's like, it's got some odd things. So we're just looking at uh, P Cube games now. Um, so the developer, this must be their only game. Um, 
I mean, good job on for, for Fair Play Studios on the graphics. Um, the combat looks good. The music is appropriate and sounds good. Um, although it is a little bit, it does get a little bit samey after a while. Um, but yeah, the controls don't feel good. And the, uh, the fact that you get immediately downgraded to be much, much worse, um, feels bad. And I wouldn't, I guess I wouldn't object to it so much if there was a strict sort of progression through the game. So, um, lots of games that do this, they do this shtick where they, um, get rid of a bunch of your abilities and make you earn them back. What they do is they put you up against a really hard boss or whatever at the start and then you get beat and you get beat back down and you have to earn all those abilities back. Um, but they put you into situations where, uh, you know, you can still win without those abilities, but um, playing the levels that I had access to, it didn't feel like uh, I would be able to beat those levels without the abilities. Yeah, so that's a very long rant for me. I apologize. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. If you do want to check out the game, it's Fallen Knights on Steam. I'll put a link down there in the description. Um, otherwise, like and subscribe, that kind of stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.